Okay, so let's summarize things. So um, this is a summary of MOS operation region, right? So we have three operation regions here. There's another, there's a fourth one that I haven't mentioned here, which is when the transistor is actually off, right? So if VGS is less than VTH, then I don't have any channel. So therefore, no channel. So you can say that you're in the off region okay but then if the transistor is on so this is the condition to be on so vgs greater than vth condition for being on and if vds is greater than vgs minus vth meaning that well we are in the pinch off region so condition for pinch off then i know that i'm in the saturation region and i know that my transistor is going to work like a voltage dependent current source and this is the large signal model of my transistor so whatever voltage apply i apply across the gate source is going to be basically used in this basically quadratic form of equation and it's going to basically generate my current. The current that is flowing from drain to source is going to be half mu n C ox W over L times VGS minus VTH squared. And then if I have channel length modulation, so this is really if I have channel length modulation, CLM. Okay. So if I have channel length modulation, I'm going to have that part as well. Okay. So the saturation region. We called it this saturation region, as we mentioned, and this is really the good region for analog circuits. So this is really where we want to be, similar to the active region of VGTs. In MOSFETs, we want to be in the saturation region. The second region is the triad region, where, again, my transistor is on, so VGS is greater than VTH, but my VDS is not, hasn't reached to the point that there's a pinch off my, in my transistor. So we saw that in this case, my current is actually a function of both VGS and VDS, right? And then, well, basically, it's not a linear relationship with VDS, but we saw that, and we're going to talk about it uh, in a moment, we saw that if VDS is actually very small, then, well, this becomes a linear relationship. So we call this the triad region, or also known as the linear region. This is the equivalent of the saturation region in the in the VJTs, meaning that it's the bad region that we don't want to be in it, right? It's the region that we don't like it and we don't want to be operating in it, okay? And the last one, which is really a subset, so maybe I should write it here, deep triad region, a subset of triad. Okay, so here is the case where VDS was very, like VG, VGS is greater than VTH, so my transistor is on, but VDS is actually a lot smaller than 2 VGS minus VTH. Therefore, I can say that this term doesn't exist. I can neglect this term. Therefore, the relationship between my ID and VDS becomes linear, and this is going to be, well, I can model my transistor as a resistor, as a perfect pure resistor uh, that is between drain and source. So MOSFET works like a switch. Uh, and this resistor is the on resistance of that switch. So basically, it's a switch that it's either off. So there's, uh, so this is the off switch. So when the transistor is off, so when VGS is less than VTH, I'm going to have this. So my drain and source are kind of basically, there's an open circuit between them. And when the transistor is on, so VGS is greater than VTH and my VDS is much smaller than 2 VGS minus VTH. In this case, I can say that there's a resistance between drain and source, and this resistance is actually equal to this. Or, well, let me actually use the name that I have there. So it, this is R on. And if I make sure that the VGS is large enough, then I can make sure that this resistance is very small, so I can actually call this a short circuit, so I have a very perfect, like very ideal kind of a switch. 
that's what I like about switches, right? I like this switch to be either short circuit or open circuit. I don't like resistance to be there. And well, by setting VGS properly, I can actually make sure of that. Okay. And the switch, like turning it on and off, really, you can see that it is actually controlled by this VGS. So if VGS is actually zero or like less than VTH, um, I can have, I can turn this off. And if it's greater than VTH, I can turn this on. So you can imagine that why this is good for digital circuits, because with digital circuit, you either apply a zero volts or a VDD volts, or as you have heard of it more commonly, a zero and a one. You've heard that digital electronics is all about zeros and ones bits. Like basically in digital world, you have bits, you have either zeros or ones. So zeros means zero volts, ones means VDD. So if you apply VDD, which is the greatest voltage you can, you can apply on VGS. It means that you have increased this VGS as much as you could to the maximum voltage possible. Therefore you have the minimum possible resistance here. Therefore you have a really good switch. Okay. Again, the digital stuff are outside of the scope of this course, but I thought this would be a nice introduction for you. You're going to learn a lot about MOSFETs being used as a switch in EECS 3201 or digital logic design course where, well, um, you're going to use them to actually build a lot of different kind of logic kits for used for digital electronics. Now, um, going back to our discussions, uh, just to summarize or to recap, we have um, off region. We have saturation region where we are a current source. We have a triad region, which is the bad region of operation. We don't want to be there. And we have deep triad region where, well, it's a subset of triad region where, well, basically uh, VDS is very small and we are almost linear. So just to remind you, this was VDS and this was ID. And we had a curve like this. So basically, this was triode, um, this was deep triode, and then this was saturation. Okay, you can see that when we're in deep triode, we're pre pretty much linear, and you can see that deep triode is a subset of the triode region. 